Yo, what's up guys, Atlas here, so we're only like two months away from a ban list, maybe a bit earlier, maybe later, I don't know, nobody knows, ban lists are very random, just like that content. Anyways, uh, today I'll be trying to predict the ban list, now it is very hard to do as Konami's ban lists never ever make sense, even when you look at it from a pushing product perspective, their recent ban lists have made much sense, I mean, they're 30 Archfeet is still at one, despite the deck getting a lot of support to Phantom Rage, I don't know. Anyways, uh, we predict 4 cards will get banned, 4 cards will get limited, 3 cards get semi-limited, 3 cards get unlimited. Um, yeah, these are just my guesses, I don't know, my guess is good, it's your own. At this point, it's better to just grab a dartboard and throw some darts at it, I mean, it's probably more reliable. Uh, just ask Simo, he did pretty much does that already. Um, so anyways, let's go to the band. So, the first card I hope to have a moral sense to ban is Smoke Grenade of the Thief. This card is just ridiculous, it enables free hand loops and decks that shouldn't be able to randomly loop your hand. Um, this card has no benefit to the game besides, you know, just being a head loop card. At that point, you might be wondering, why is this card legal? Well, you rather have confiscation in the game, because at least confiscation can be used by every deck. Smoke grenade can only be used by certain decks. Um, but yeah, the best case scenario neither exists in the game. Next card I want to see banned is Link Calls. I mean, Link Calls is disgusting, it's part of the most problematic combos in the game. A lot of people point at Hockey Fibrax, but Hockey Fibrax on its own doesn't do that much. It's a combination with link calls that's a bit too much, and I think free tokens for no good reason at all. Um, so just hit link calls, it's not that hard. Card Dragon LP is another card that needs to go, Card Dragons are just too strong at the moment. Um, this Konami doesn't care about the Dragonity structure since it's got delayed or cancelled or whatever. Not sure they're shoving the Dragonity cards in here. Maybe in like the next Duelist Saga, I don't know. But considering I don't care about Dragonity apparently, I don't expect this card to stay alive. Dragon Link is a problematic uh, deck right now, so a uh, small hit would be ex to be expected. And the next hit I predict must be done if I don't do this. It's an obvious sign I don't care about the player base, about the game, and I just... <laughs> Honestly, at that point, I wonder if playing Yu-Gi-Oh is still a good idea. Remember as Zero Utopic Sexual? It's basically a one card FTK. You go first, you use uh, the Numeral Network to go to Utopic Sexual. Last turn, use the topic sexual. Unless you, unless you somehow via RNG drew a random out, you lose the deal on the spot. This is a bit much. I'm hoping Konami is wise enough to not allow this to be a thing in the game no longer. It's ridiculous that it's already so legal for so long. Let's hope it's not legal for another format. If this doesn't get hit, I don't know. So, limited. Salomon Great Mirage Stelia. Salomon Great has received quite some hits, I'd expect Konami to just randomly go flip-flop mode and suddenly unlimit Mirage Stelio for no reason. Or well, to limit it, remove from the ban list. Next limit I can see coming is Heavy Metaphose Electromite, this is due to the new upcoming Metaphose support in Blazing Vortex. Maybe it's a bit too early, maybe I'll do it later, but yeah, this has to happen at some point. Um, next limit I can see happening is Shadow Star Octagoon. This way they pretend they care about the community, of course they don't, I mean this limit doesn't do anything. But people will be like, oh, they hit Dragoon, good. And they realize, wait, it's limited, it's still legal. But Konami doesn't care, they quote unquote hit problems, so they did their job. And then we wait for another bandit for a few months. Oh boy. Final limitation I could see happen is Alice Invoker to Invoker the one. Um, Invoked has been too good for too long, it's even more ridiculous than Burning Abyss almost at this point. It's a bit too much, uh, it's incredibly unhealthy for the game, and the fact that this deck is still alive is disgusting. I hope they make the right decision, and I hope Alistair gets limited, or at least Invoked gets crippled in some way or some form. So anyway, semi-limits. First off, Emergency Teleport. This card... It, it's really good. Um, a lot of decks can use it, Mutants can use it, but also some upcoming decks, Virtual World, um, General product pushing. This would enable for a good card to reprint in another set of chase cards, so... Win-win for Konami to semi-limit emotion teleport. Um, I think it's very likely to happen. Another semi-limit I could see happens in Miscellaneosaurus. A lot of people are upset about dinos being really strong at the moment. I have no idea what the meta is at the moment. Nobody really does, as we don't have any sanctioned tournaments in the TCG. At this point, it's just a guessing game. Um, but from what data we can see, Dinos are really strong at the moment, and a lot of people want to see them get hit. So I could see Konami making a very minor hit that doesn't affect the deck at all. Because that's just how Konami works. 
final semi limit I could see happening is Trish Shadow, I can have the Ice Barrier going to two. This would do literally nothing. But they can pretend it's to, it's to give Ice, ice Barrier something back since they get support soon. But yeah, I doubt it. <laughs> I mean, I doubt it will do anything, that's why I think it will happen. I mean, who the hell is going to play it to a Trishla? Absolutely nobody, indeed. So, Unlimited, 3 Unlimited, ABC Dragon Buster, that has already gone to 2. Um, ABC is a strong deck, but it's not the best deck, not even close. Putting the ABC Dragon at 3 doesn't change much at all, honestly. Totally awesome going to 3 is another thing I could see happening. Um, I'm more in favor of the card being gone, it's a completely unhealthy card, but Konami probably wants to push product. Although I don't think anyone really plays totally awesome, I mean... What actually you play this card? Outside of Palio. Honestly. <laughs> um, but yeah, the fact that nobody plays it might be another reason to move from the ban list. It just does nothing to the game at the moment. And finally, I think it's about time to flip flop Destiny over Malicious back to Unlimited. So they can semi limited in a few ban lists again. That's, that's the Konami way. Hope you guys liked this ban list prediction. I'm hoping it's somewhat accurate. Although the actual list is probably going to be way much worse. <laughs> Hope you guys liked the video. See you guys next time. Atlas signing out. See ya.